when you walk. I messed up the whole transition on you, Danny. I'm sorry. We had the wire uh, theme music coming back from break, and I. Uh... All right, there you go. That's the Opie and Anthony show. He's not here to talk about the wire, though. We're, we're starstruck, I got to tell you. Doesn't happen often, but we got Lance Reddick, Lieutenant Daniels from The Wire. He's sick of hearing that because he wants to promote uh, Fringe, but still. Also, it's uh, Colonel Daniels. Colonel Daniels, yes, I'm sorry. You're right. Season, yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah, right. Got the big promotion at the end of the year. Uh, oh, show. good. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> you know, it's just, oh, man. I'm, I'm putting one of these situations. I got to be honest with you. And I understand this, but I'm putting one of these situations where I, I'm late to the party and. I know it's just going to screw me over because I just cracked open uh, uh, the first season of The Wire last night yeah. uh, and, and I started watching them and instantly hooked where I'm just throwing in disc after disc. I can't, you know, I can't get enough. It's great. And, but I know that things are going to just get spoiled for me and things like, that. well, congratulations on your promotion that well, you eventually get. And that leads me to know that nothing happens to you and <laughs> oh, okay well uh, okay see on, good all right hold on i gotta add to this because anthony ran in today and says i am so into the wire don't tell me there's a moratorium i'm talking about it now and, and then who's and our he, guest today he, yeah and he didn't even know you were right. coming in and jimmy did this to me i was like a season or two behind so now I, i'm gonna enjoy like uh you getting frustrated by finding yeah. out stuff before you see it but uh i did the same thing to other people with lost because uh you know <laughs> Uh, oh, actually, I was a little late to the party on Lost. A few of the other guys had seen it, and uh, then I caught up. And then when I was all caught up, I'm like, ah, oh, so you don't know what's going on, do you? Uh, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, well, most people don't. That seems to be the thing. Yeah, even if you're caught up, you don't know what's going on. Are, are you in, uh, you were in, what, like, two or three episodes uh, last season? Yeah, I was in three episodes last season, mm -hmm. and then I've got uh, an episode, actually, that I'm shooting next week. Your part is really creepy on Lost. Like, you play, like, it, it's a really... Bizarre. Uh, I, I don't even know exactly who you are in that. It's just you're just this weird guy. <laughs> I don't even know exactly who I am. Yeah. They don't tell you if you're real or if you're working for the government or who you are. Just drops no, no, no. in. I mean, actually, yeah. actually, uh, especially with this episode that I'm about to shoot, I have much more of an idea of who I am. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Be but funny I, if he accidentally blew the whole season and JJ fired him. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, that's oh hysterical. Yeah, my kids would love that. So. <laughs> Do you go to Hawaii for that? Or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's always something. Yeah, that's Does everything? Soft. Is there anyone that goes like, "Hey, you're you're doing Lost, uh, you know, an episode of Lost"? Oh, really? Yeah, it's a soundstage over here that we're gonna just do something in. I think everyone expects, "Oh, Hawaii, this got to be nice." It's mm -hmm. great, and I, I've yeah. never been to Hawaii before. Really? So, yeah. Yeah, that's one place I've never been to. You, I've been there. Bobby yeah, pointed out. I you. know you were married there. You didn't invite anybody. I invited you on the internet. On the internet, he had a wedding on the internet. Like he went to Hawaii. Used all the money that it would take to have a big wedding with a bunch of people so him and his uh, fiance could go get married in Hawaii and then gave everyone a website that they could go and watch him, you know, get married. Really? How much is it? Because I, I was. Yeah, it's a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks, <laughs> <100 laughs> <bucks, laughs> you <laughs> cheap bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get frustrated by, like, you know, you're, as, as an actor, like, you know, you get, like, a, a role like The Wire and you see so many other bad scripts. I mean, how frustrating is, is it to see a lot of the scripts or other? You, you've been very fortunate. I mean, from, from the writing on The Wire to, to Lost and now to this show, which is, is, a, is a smash a fringe. hit. It's got to be very frustrating, though, all the other bad, awful scripts you have to go through or you have to read through. Well, <laughs> I actually don't get... It's not like I've gotten that many scripts. And, um... I just feel like I've really kind of just gone from one great project to the next. So yeah, because you have. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because you probably um, if if you uh, you're, you're put, getting put into that category though, where you're looked at as one of these actors that y I don't think you you take a you don't seem like you take a bad script. Like you, you're you're. Well, you know, as, as the saying goes, show me the money. <laughs> okay. Uh, but no, I mean, I, I um, one of the things that has been really cool about uh, what I've been able to do is that I've been able to do a lot of television, and so I've actually been able to pay my rent. But at the yeah. same time, I've been able to do stuff that was really artistically fulfilling. Mm -hmm. You're still renting? Hmm? Uh, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> you should stop me hesitating, right? Uh, look, here, what's the right answer? <laughs> this new show is is re I, you know I was kind of skeptical about if I was because I love Lost. I love Lost, 
uh, and I was skeptical the first the first couple of minutes because the kid from Dawson Creek's in it. Oh, right, right, right. Which I, you know, I was like, some, but you know, it's going to be a good show when you, you you don't even see him as that cheesy character in Dawson Creek. You forget all about it, and he's just that new guy. And well, I mean, in Josh's defense, yeah, I mean, I will say, you know, I was a. <laughs> I was a Buffy fan, what? so I, I was a Buffy fan. I was a fan of Buffy. You just ruined the whole so, show for me. <laughs> so you know, and I was also a Paula Cole fan. So you know, Dawson Creek was always off. So I'd watch the first five minutes right. to hear the song. And, <laughs> oh, damn! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> what? Oh man! Oh, you I'm are a great actor. You are never going to watch Broyles <laughs> the same way again. Yeah. On no. You're and killing so, it for us. But I, I'm just I, throwing my my wires uh, DVDs <laughs> in the garbage. Yeah, shred, <laughs> shred them when you get home. Yeah. <laughs> no, but no, but, no, but I, but, uh, oh, Paul, I Josh, don't want to wait. <laughs> even though it was like a teen show, I always remember being kind of impressed with Josh. And right. so I was really thrilled when I found out that he was going to be cast in this role. Right. And uh, I think he's doing a really great job. His dad, too, is, who played, what's his, what's his name? John Noble. He's an Australian actor. My God, is oh, he's he great. He's, he's, he's a lunatic. Yeah. And could you guys yeah. help us along? Because uh, what's Fringe about? Let's get the basics out there. Because I haven't seen it yet. Wow. Well, in a nutshell, it is this um, it's this uh, sci-fi action adventure procedural that uh, deals with this kind of elite government team that investigates these super scientific crimes of terrorism or murder, and uh, it basically deals with the question: What happens when uh, science and technology advances at such uh, uh, almost exponential rate that it's uh, nearly impossible to uh, effectively legislate or control it? Mm. Yeah, they have like, but all the stuff. The mm. reason why it's kind of cool is that the stuff that they do, uh, do on the show that would be unrealistic has some type is based in some type of reality. Yeah, like they yeah. might be able to do that stuff. Like <clears throat> the crazy father is they take him out of an insane asylum where he's been for like seventeen years, and he's just this uber genius guy. His son is a genius. But he's like a you know a crook. Like he used his intelligence to you know make money at cards and stuff like that. They get him out, and they all the stuff he worked on back in the day uh, for the government. They wind up using these techniques. Like they they hook this girl up to in a machine with a cow, and they and it's just this stuff that doesn't make any sense at all. But this guy's such a l mad scientist. He's like, oh, it can work. And he just loses his mind, but the whole time he's 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 still crazy. Like he he, he has to introduce himself to the assistant every day because he forgets her name and it bugs the hell out. I would of her. never have Bob give me a synopsis of a just show say, <laughs> ever ever. It's the, the the literally it's almost an art form how bad that synopsis was. And you love the show. Well, they hooked the girl up with the cow, and the guy's a little nutty. Bob, what are you talking about? I was, I was, I I was nodding I, along, trying a, to help him. But it's <laughs> a, help listen, him it's, 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 it's not quit the show. <laughs> I, I felt like I was smoking pot again. Well, it's, it's like, wow, like, I'm on a real sucky you can, show. You can back me up on this. It's it's really like the stuff they do isn't like you can't just explain it. It's it's not. It's really crazy science stuff that they somehow put together where it makes sense. We like that would never work, but it makes sense, and they they do this futuristic stuff. Well, Close some again. of the stuff I, you might say would never work, but to be to be perfectly honest, uh, I think a lot of it is kind of based in, in, in reality, based in real science. Yeah, I will say the pilot. The thing about the pilot, it, it gets you right away. Is I think it opens on a plane, and uh, you know, kind of like uh, the original yeah, Lost yeah. did it, and. Uh, this guy is having some kind of a fit. What what was it, a diabetic thing? He's going through. Where he it, it looks like he's a diabetic and he's having a you know a, a seizure or something. And he's it looks like he's injecting himself with insulin. Yes, yeah, so you think that, mm. and uh, he starts to to rot away, uh, like his skin starts to I think fall off. Or he starts to he's yeah. dying immediately, um, and he starts walking towards the front of the plane, and then. Uh, Everybody on the plane dies, and they're basically a bunch of uh, bunch of skeletons well, on the plane. Is it wasn't that like in an in, I, I don't know this. I, I might be wrong, but wasn't it like an, he actually came became transparent? No, no. Well, that's another <laughs> character. That's Scott. That's Scott, right? <laughs> that uh, the, later in the pilot. Yeah, that's actually uh, Scott. Yeah, yeah. He became transparent, like almost invisible. Yeah. Right. Now nah, that's cra it's crazy. Like I wish that would happen to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just to let you know, they turn on you quick on this show. <laughs> you're not, you're not losing weight fast enough for us right now, Bobby. Before, before the show, they were like, "Hey, help us out!" Now I'm trying to help out, and I'm really feeling. Oh, because you were excited. You said you've seen every episode. Yes, I'm a big fan. I watch it every week. I have it on my uh, DVR. 
Your Deaver? <laughs> My Deaver. It, it is funny, though, when you love the show so much. Like, if you told me to give, uh, a, a, say, a synopsis of The Wire, I would panic yeah. and give really weird, like, details about one scene that didn't, 